okay guys, I gotta get something off my heart. It's really time for me to come out the closet and I want you to be the first to know what's going on. So I was talking to a friend of mine about two months ago and I was just sharing with him some of the things I was going through in my personal life, in my private life, and, and kind of what I'm wrestling with. And as I'm sharing with him my passions and where I feel God is leading me and calling me to go in, in ministry, he's like, Seth, you know, it's great. I sense that God is calling you to do some great things in ministry, but the reality is right now, like no one knows you what your passions are. No one knows what your burdens are. No one knows what your skills are. I mean, you've been serving as a pastor for some years and that's great, but the reality is that if you really want to fulfill the burden and the passion that God has given you, you got to put yourself out there. He essentially said, you got to come out the closet. So this is my coming out the closet video and I hope there's no judgment, but I just really want to step into what I feel God is calling me to do in my personal life and in my professional life and find alignment between the two. So the reality is, is that I've been pastoring in the Adventist church for 12 years now. I'm not a rookie. I got a few years under my belt and over the years, over these 12 years, really, I have seen my passions and my, my burden in ministry grow and shift and change. And so really, for the last six years, I have just had a passion to serve more than just a local church. Like, my passion has grown, but I want to see so many, all of our churches rise up and really live out the calling and the purposes that God has, has placed before them. See, I believe that the local church really is an unstoppable force. I believe the local church is the most powerful thing on the earth because it has the message of the gospel. It has the message of grace and the message of hope. And that's what the world needs. And so I'm, I just believe that when we take that message and we align it with what our community needs and the resources that we have within our church and within our community, that the church would naturally be on the forefront of any type of movement, any type of social change, financial change, empowerment, development um, in our community. I believe the church should be the locus for developing leaders and sending leaders, not just into the world, the mission field, but sending leaders into the marketplace, making a difference in the business sectors and in on Wall Street. The church should have influence there. But the reality is that our church doesn't have the influence in the world that I really think it should have. And my burden is to really help local churches align themselves, their ministries, their mission, their, their vision, their strategies to get in alignment with what God is trying to do through prayer and through the word of God and really empower our local pastors and our local leaders. So to really come out the closet, I'll be doing three things. Number one, I'll be releasing weekly videos just like this one on my website, Facebook, and on YouTube that will be geared towards helping church leaders do church on purpose. That's my burden. I want to make sure that we're doing church on purpose, that we're not just going through the motions and taking whatever comes to us, but that we have a plan and it's clear and we're executing it and we're reaching our goals. So I'll be sharing videos of things that I've learned throughout ministry, lessons I've learned, mistakes I've made, what I'm doing now, what I've done in the past, what's worked, what hasn't worked. And if it'll be a blessing to you, if you can use it, if you can implement it, great. If, you, if it's not going to work for you, disregard it. It's all good. I'm just going to be putting it out there because I want to do all I can to help your church grow. The second thing I'll be doing is releasing documents on my website that will be geared towards helping you organize your church and align your ministries. These are documents that I've created myself or I've picked up along the way and that have really helped me organize the ministries and the churches that I've been a part of. Third thing I'll be doing is making myself available to you to answer any questions, to serve as a sounding board in order for you to organize and structure your church for success. And so that's my burden. This is my coming out video that I believe that God has called me not just to pastor the local church, but to also provide tools and resources to help the local church experience the purposing power of God in their midst. And I don't know, if you're like me, the reality is, is that you may feel that God has called you to do something great and mighty, but you, like me, have allowed, whether it's fear or what people will think or not having the right tools or resources or to keep you from really stepping out there in faith and living out loud. Well, I just want to encourage you to come out of the closet, you know, step into the purposes of God for your life, and I guarantee you, you won't regret it.